your rubber. Stand by. Hello, mic test, mic. Okay, ni mic. Yes. Audio is good, Tami. Rolling name camera. Yes, camera okay, is rolling. Okay, GG na ako ah. Yes, bring it on. Ang kwento ko talaga is tungkol dun sa best friend ko, si Cheche. Si Cheche, best friend ko siya since high school. So, kilalang kilala ko na talaga to si girl. So, nagka-boyfriend siya. And yung time niya for me, nabawasan kasi nga ang oras niya nasa boyfriend niya. Nalungkot ka? Medyo, na-miss ko siya, pero okay lang. Kasi masaya siya, so masaya na rin ako. Pero one time, girl, nakita ko may pasa siya. So, I asked her, girl, ano yan? Sabi ko. Sabi niya, ano daw? May pito siya sa pinto. Gagang to, niloko pa ako. Sabi ko, girl, hindi ganyan ang naipit sa pinto. May korteng kamay. Sabi, sabi ko, umamin ka, umamin ka. Pinipilit ko talaga siyang umamin. Umamin ba? Matagal na pilitan bago umamin. Kakaloka yun. Hinila pala siya ng boyfriend niya. Sabi ko sa kanya, physical abuse yan. Dapat hindi niya pinapayagan na gawin-gawin sa kanya yun ng boyfriend niya. Nakakaloka yun. Anong sagot ni Cheche? Sabi niya, mainit lang daw yung ulo ng boyfriend niya that time. Pero sabi ko kay Cheche, ah, dapat di na maulit yun. As in, never, never na dapat maulit yun. Hindi na ba naulit? Girl, introduction pa lang yun. Sinasabi ko sa'yo, yung guy na yan, lagi siyang sinasaktan. <sighs> Siyempre, ako bilang best friend, naging outlet niya. So, nagkikita kami every time na nag sila, every time na may tampuhan. So, I started hating her boyfriend. Ano daw bang ginagawa ng boyfriend niya sa kanya? Ah, uh, sweet naman daw at times. Pero most of the time, abusive. Abusive? In what way? Well... As I mentioned earlier, oh, English yun. Well, as I mentioned earlier, physical abuse. Lagi siyang sinasaktan pag nag-aaway sila. Psychological abuse. Si kuya mo, guy, hmm, lagi niyang, ano yun, lagi niyang pinipilit na siya ang tama. Kahit na may valid reason naman si Che. Pangatlo, possessive, pangaapat, domineering. My God, gusto niya lagi siya ang nasusunod. Pwede ba naman yun? Siyempre, yung best friend ko, in love na in love si Gaga. Sunod-sunuran naman siya. And Chef follows everything? Yeah, that guy is very controlling. Pero one thing lang ah. Of course, okay lang naman yung kiss, a sweetheart, ganito, ganyan. Pero that guy is asking for more. More... What? Something intimate and private. My God, nakakaloka yung boyfriend niya. Sipin mo ah, sabi niya, para ma-prove na mahali siya yung boyfriend niya, kailangan nila mag mm -hmm. Can you believe that? That's emotional blackmail. Sabi ko dito kay Che, paano na lang pag nag naging buntis siya, nabuntis siya? Estudyante pa lang sila, walang trabaho. Anong papakain nila sa anak nila? Love? Oh my God, that's too old school. Sabi ko kay Che, kapag naulit pa yon, pag ininsist pa ng boyfriend niya, ang nangyayari sa kanila, that's rape. Capital R, I, ay, mali, tinan mo. R-A-P-E. Uy, edit out mo yun na. Oh my God. Yes, edit out. O sabihin ng mga friends ko, bobo ako. Oh my God. So, ayun. Naloka talaga ako sa best friend kong yun. Kaya, pinapayuhan ko talaga siya na kapag talaga na ulit yun, isusumbong ko talaga yung, mm, susumbong ko talaga yung gigigil ako. Susumbong ko sila sa kinaukula, sa polis, sa barangay, o kahit na sino man. Anong sabi niya, Chet? Sabi ni Che, siyempre bulag yung best friend ko. Sabi niya, wag daw akong magsumbong. Bakit? Kasi nakakahiya raw. Nakakahiya. Sabi ko talaga sa kanya, ba't ka may hihiya? Tanga ka ba? Ikaw na tong inaape, ikaw na tong inaabuso, ikaw pa tong nahihiya. Alam mo ba ang sabi pa sa akin ng best friend ko? Magagalit ako sa'yo. Magagalit ako sa'yo pag nagsumbong ka. Paano ka nag-react? My gosh, napanganga na lang ako. Ang beshi ko, nabulag sa love. <sighs> Kahit may sexual abuse. For me, sexual abuse is sexual abuse. And it's a big turn off. My gosh. Moving forward, continue. So, ito na. Ito na. Ito mala-action to. One Saturday, 
naisip ko, dalawin yung best friend ko. Kasi alam ko, mag-isa lang si Cheche dun sa bahay niya. Kasi yung parents niya nag-out of town. So, sabi ko, ba't kaya hindi ko surpresahin yung best friend ko? Girl, imbes na siya yung surpresahin ko, my God, ako ang nasyok. Bago ako kumatok, sabi ko, bakit parang may naririnig akong something? Kaloki na kausap na ni Cheche yung sarili niya, nabalun na yung best friend ko. So, sumilip ako sa bintana. Nagulat ako kasi yung boyfriend niya, pinipilit siya, nakapatong talaga, as in, nag-freak out ako, sumigaw ako, I shouted at, at her boyfriend. Tumigil naman siya. Pero galit, as in galit na galit, at ang sabi pa sa akin, huwag kang mangyayalang. Ang kapal na mukha! Ang kapal talaga na mukha! Alam mo, ginawa ako, tumakbo talaga ako, tumakbo ako sa pinakamalapit na barangay hall. Buti na lang, nahuli yung boyfriend niya. Nahuli ng polis, nakulong. Buti nga sa kanya. Galit si Che kasi nangyayalam ka at nagsumbong ka? Oo, galit siya. Hindi na nga ako inuusap ng best friend ko. Pero for me ah, okay lang yun. Okay lang na nangyayalam ako, na nagsumbong ako. Ang mahalaga, niligtas ko yung kaibigan ko. Talungkot ka kasi nawalan ka ng BFF. Of course! Pero guess what ha? In less than two weeks, kinausap ulit ako ni Cheche. Siguro nauntog siya, na-realize niya, hmm, tama ako, ganito, ganyan. Siguro din na-realize niya na she deserves someone better. Better than that kind of boyfriend. Alam mo kasi, we women, we must not be abused. We have to be valued eh. ba? Diba? Alam mo, feeling ko ha, na-realize niya tama yung ginawa ko. So, we became SBFF. SBFF? Oo, as in super best friends forever. Da, di mo alam yun. It's a millennial term. Actually, papunta na nga siya dito. I'm so excited kasi magpa-party kami, pa-jam party. Like, chips and movies. Ah! Perfect. <laughs> okay, sige. Pack na kami. Para hindi na maabala yung pajama party nyo. Um, do you have any advices to share? Taray. Pa-advice si ate mo, girl. Okay. Serious mode. <laughs> First of all, girls, it's time. It's time to not tolerate the abuse. Stand up, di ba? Second, I think this is for all. If you know of abuses na ginagawa, okay lang mangyayalam at magsumbong. Really, promise. Better that way, kesa hintayin pa natin maging worst. Hindi ba? Better to help than sorry. At lastly, sa mga girls na inaabuso, to be honest, mas kailangan nila ng tulong. As in, kasi minsan hindi lang nila ma-admit or hindi lang nila alam kung paano. Sabi nga nila, queens fix each other's crown. Diba? Perfect. And I, thank you. Beautiful advices. Thank you so much, Tammy. No thank problemo. You so much. Yes, it's a big help. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So, we help you na. Pagkakos niya na. Edit mo yung mga pa. <laughs> Share it away. Patakit ko pa sa'yo. Ah, perfect. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
as we observe the 18-day campaign to end violence against women or vow from November 25th to December 12th, we ask you, Lord, to look with kindness upon all of us who are gathered here. Fill our hearts and minds with love, wisdom, and courage as we face our daily lives. We pray for all women and girls who suffer from domestic violence, rape, incest, sexual harassment, trafficking, prostitution, and other forms of violence. May they have the courage to break their silence, find protection, healing, and justice. We pray for the perpetrators of vow that they may learn to respect women and girls and stop the violence. O loving Father and Mother, send us your Spirit so that everything that we do will be done with love and respect for our fellow humans. Regardless of age, sex, class, ethnicity, and ability, O powerful God, develop in us a high regard for the thoughts, feelings, and experiences of everyone, and bestow on us the capacity to promote protect and fulfill the rights of women and girls. Almighty Creator, grant us the strength to stand up against all forms of violence happening to women and girls, the sharpness to recognize a silenced victim of vow, the courage to speak up against vow, the resourcefulness to help a victim of vow, and the resolve to never commit any form of vow. For all of this, we implore your guidance. Amen. The Quality Policy Statement of the Department of Education The Department of Education is committed to provide learners with quality basic education that is accessible, inclusive, and liberating through proactive leadership, shared governance, evidence-based policies, standards, and programs, responsive and relevant curricula, highly competent and committed officials, and teaching and non-teaching personnel, an enabling learning environment. The department upholds the highest standards of conduct and performance to fulfill stakeholders' needs and expectations by adhering to constitutional mandates, statutory and regulatory requirements, and sustains client satisfaction through continuous improvement of the quality management system.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Dep Ed Dasmarinas. Welcome to this division kickoff ceremony of the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children 2022. Ayan, subukan nga natin ang inyong word of mouth and power of thumb. Share po tayo ng ating link at uh, ibahagi po natin ang mga kaalaman na matututunan po natin ngayong umaga in this division kickoff ceremony. Ang sabi ni Ma'am Ortigo Amorin, Blessed Vowsy morning to all. Gadang umaga, ika nga. Ayan, good morning, good morning. Power of thumb and word of mouth. Share, share po natin ang link natin this morning because mayroon po tayong mga katanungan at dahil may mga katanungan tayo, mayroon din po tayong mga papremyo. Wow! Ang ganda! Type nyo lang po, mine. <laughs> Pamayon, live selling po pala ito. Alright. Ayan, from uh, Ma'am Madel Pimentel. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ang ating, sabi ko, familiar yung pangalan. So, much good morning po, ma'am. <laughs> Alright. And of course, from Ma'am Raquel Paglingayan, Gomara. Good morning po. Watching from Santa Cruz Elementary School. Again, let's test your word of mouth and the power of thumb. Share, share ang atin pong link ng atin pong um, Vowsy Division Kickoff. So this division kickoff po is related and in support to the 18-day campaign to end the violence against women and children, mga kababaihan at mga kabataan. And by the virtue of the Republic Act 10398 or the Act declaring today, November 25 of every year as the National Conscious Day Consciousness Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and Children. Alam nyo ba, kagabi, nag-iisip ako eh. Kaya napatanong ako dun sa kapatid ko, I am not a lawyer but my sister is, shout out sa aking kapatid, ano ba yung background nitong uh, uh, celebration natin ngayon? Eh, ito pala ay related din sa Republic Act 926 no? um, or also known as the Barred Woman Syndrome. Naku, medyo madrama yung uh, istorya ng ating uh, nakapaloob dun sa batas o yung background ng batas na ito. No? At kung napanood ninyo yung video kanina, ganun-ganun yung nangyari sa kanya. Um, nagkaroon ng psychological uh, distress, parang paralysis, no? na ang feeling niya ay yun na talaga yung love of her life. <laughs> Pero, nako, kayo na lang ang bahalang uh, humanap ng storya. Since ito naman ay public domain, si Ma'am, uh, si Miss Mary Vic Henosa, no? yung, yung, yung pangalan ng storya na nandun. Pero kung gusto talaga natin no, na ma-end yung violence against women and children, ay talagang kailangan natin ng taunang kampanya katulad ng ginagawa natin ngayon. Kasi worldwide daw, 35% according to sa uh, estimate ng World Health Organization na ang mga kababaihan daw at mga kabataan ay nakaka-experience ng physical and sexual violence. Worldwide, imagine 35% ng populasyon sa buong mundo ay nakakaranas ng ganito. Ayan. Kaya dapat lang no, na taunan natin ginagawa ang mga ganitong seremonya. Ayan, good morning, good morning po sa ating mga supervisors na nagsa-shout out ngayon. Sa <laughs> kadaldalan ko, hindi ko na nabasa ang mga uh, shout out. Hello po, Ma'am Emily Bellanio. Good morning, good morning everyone. Meron po tayo sa ngayon sa ating uh, Facebook na 50 viewers. Naku, ayaw nyo bang manalo ng napakagandang Tumblr na ito? Ito ba? Uh, May pasamid pa ako. <laughs> Say no to plastic. Ayan, ito pa yung sponsored. <laughs> Ayan, syempre ng ating advocate sa huwag paggamit ng mga plastic. Ayan. At sa pagsisimula ng napakagandang umagang ito, 
Ayan, thank you Ma'am Layugan for sharing at uh, nadagdagan po tayo ng isa. Kanina 50-51 tayo. <laughs> Salamat po sa pag-share. Ayan, share, share. Share the blessing to others because sharing is Carry. <laughs> Ayan, thank you Sir Red. Ayan, all right. And to greet us all this beautiful morning in this division kickoff ceremony, let us have our CID chief, our very supportive uh, HEPE ng Curriculum Implementation Division, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Gemma Cortez. Good morning, ma'am. Hello, good morning, Doc Jeff. Meron kaming, meron akong isang fan dito, si Ate Rowe. Ayan, ang saya-saya ng opening ni Doc Jeff, no? Talaga namang buhay na buhay ang ating Friday morning sa pag- uh, Simula natin ang ating division kick-off ceremony on the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children. Ayan, so uh, of course, my warmest greetings to our speaker to be introduced later. No, Ayoko munang banggitin to si the speaker natin, okay? And to our dear SDS, Sir Nong Canton Host, to our ASDS Mom Bernadette Luna, our SGOD Chief, Dr. Letty Lopez, to all the personnel of CID, Curriculum Implementation Division. Nandito sila at mga nanonood. Ang alam ko nasa kabila ang maraming PSDS natin nanonood din. Of course, kasama din natin ang ating SGOD personnel watching also. The OSDS uh, personnel at uh, sa ating lahat na nanonood. Marami tayong mga viewers sa ating FB Live. Magandang magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Although medyo umuulan, pero napaka mabiyaya ang umaga ito. Uh, last uh, Tuesday, nung nangungulit sa akin itong aking inaanak si Rent, no? Naninang kailangan ka mag-message. Na nagbasa ako ng ilang research, no? Researches, no? About this vowsy. And according to research na nabasa ko, one in three Women and children nationwide experience physical violence and the worst, mostly, it is done by an intimate partner, no? At ang iba, mga tatay pang gumagawa ng mga physical violence sa kanilang asawa at mga anak. Violence against women and children is a human rights violation. Of course, alam natin yan. And the immediate and long-term physical, mental consequences for women and children can be devastating including death. Tama yung sinabi kanina ni Doc Jeff, no? Violence negatively affects the general well-being and prevent women from fully participating in the society. It impacts their families, their community, and the country at large. It has tremendous cost from greater strains on health, Sinabi rin kanina ni Doc Jeff, marami nakakasakit, no? Healthcare to legal expenses and losses in productivity. But the good thing is that our government, no? Uh, has initiated several moves to fight or to end violence against women and children. And at least 155 countries have passed laws on domestic violence and 140 have legislation on sexual harassment in the workplace. But, ito ang minsang nagiging problema natin, ano? The challenges remain in enforcing this law. So, it is in this venue that I would like to give my highest commendation to the efforts exerted by the City Schools Division of Desmarinas, particularly the SGOD and the HRD Department headed by uh, Sir Rent Salimbao to at least uh, for this uh, uh, for initiating this activity not to at least no give us a full awareness on fighting violence against women and children kaya isang mainit at uh, napagbati para kay Sir Rent no at sa kanya mga kasamahan dahil ang mga ganitong pagtitipon ano maganda na uh, nagagawa natin para mabigyan natin ng full awareness ang ating mga kasamahan, hindi lang sa DepEd, kundi yung lahat ng mga nanonood sa atin. So, on behalf of the Curriculum Implementation Division, I would like to express our strong and dynamic support 
to this 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children. So, mabuhay po ang mga bata, mabuhay ang kababaihan. Let's unite for a vow-free Philippines. Good morning. Thank you so much, ma'am. Sabay nga po tayo, ma'am. Let's unite. Let's unite for a vow-free <laughs> Philippines. Ayan. Alright. And congratulations, Ma'am Gem. Ano? Recently, ang CID team ay most responsive and most innovative program and project in the whole Region 4A Calabar Zone. Shout out yes, po sa mga yes, mahuhusay natin uh, curriculum yes. implementation division. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Congratulations. Yes. And of course, congratulations also. Six days pa lang naman ang ating senior education program specialist na si Sir Rent, pero ang dami na niya pong mga accomplishments. Congratulations, kapatid! Ay, <laughs> let's unite! <laughs> and of course, to give another message in this beautiful God morning, let us have our SGOD Chief, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Leticia Lopez. Good morning po, Ma'am Ma Hepe! Good morning! Good morning, Dr. Jeff! What a great day to end the week, you know. So from SDO, Pepe Das Marinas, to our distinguished speaker, and the 44 public and secondary elementary schools, I bring you a free policy day. Today signals the launching of the UNITE campaign to end violence against women and children. This is an initiative of the day of 18 days for all of us to stand in solidarity with women's and children's rights advocates that support revolutionary efforts in calling for the elimination of violence against women and children. You know, this kickoff sends out a powerful signal to the public that domestic violence is not acceptable and that it can never be considered a personal or a family matter. It's a human rights violation which should be rejected. This division undertaking under the leadership of our OIC SDS, Sir Nong Canton Hos, through the HRD specialist, the newly promoted specialist, Rand Salimbao, together with the ASDS, Ma'am Bernadette Luna, the CID Chief, Dr. Gemma Cortez, and all the division workforce fully support all, all initiatives of the SGOD through the HRD in highlighting the importance of combining forces to end violence against women and children. So everybody, say, let's unite. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Mom, sabay tayo. One, two, three. Let's Unite! <laughs> Walang ang internet natin. Ano? Hindi kami... Uh, ayun! Alright! Uh, thank you so much to our SGOD Chief, Ma'am Leticia Lopez. Alright! At ano pong color ang napansin ninyo na pare-pareha sa amin ngayong umaga? Pakisagot nga po sa ating comment, sa ating chat box. At pipili tayo. Pipili na tayo. Ito, ito. Eko ba? Ah, eko bag daw muna. Uy, wow! Anong kulay? Yan, anong color? Parang ang dali-dali naman. Tapos may pwede agad, Sir Rent. Ano ba yung color natin na pinagmamalaki? Diyos ko, sa background pa lang. Alam na alam nyo na. <laughs> Alright. Nakaunahan naman talaga ang Ma'am Ma Edeline natin. Eh. Oh, hello po. Good morning, Ma'am Edeline so, Casanas de po, Lima. Say no to plastic. <laughs> and end the violence against women and... The children, let's unite. So, pabilisan talaga ng internet ang labanan dito. <laughs> Kung kaninong comment ang kauna ang papasok. Good morning, good morning po 
sa ating lahat. Orange, ano? Bakit nga kaya orange? Uy, parang mas magandang tanong yun, Sir Rent. <laughs> Bakit nga ba orange ang kulay ng, uh, ng campaign to end violence against and children? No, taon-taon. Bakit kaya orange taon-taon ang kulay ng ating uh, violence against women and children campaign? Sige, ako na kaya ang mag-reveal. Because we all know that orange, kung sa Roy G. Bib natin titingnan, pangalawa siya sa color red. No? Uh, pag pag ang, uh, sa prism, no? so, sa ordon sa mismong, uh, ano ba ito? Nag-discuss nag, 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 nag na ako <laughs> sa science. No? Uh, but anyway, um, this color orange is a bright and optimistic color. And you know, in Vowsi, mag-aagree ang uh, Philippine Commission on Women sa atin na itong kulay hell. Uy, talaga mang sinerch ko, Sir Rent, ang Tagalog <laughs> ng orange. No? It represents hope and a future free from violence against women, girls, and children. O, diba? Ang bright, bright daw kasi ng color, <laughs> ng, uh, ng color orange. Tama si Ma'am Lovely Angelica. Viania Valdez, parang graduation lang, no? kompletong-kompleto ang, <laughs> ang pagkabanggit ng pangalan. Ayan, bright and optimistic color. And it also symbolizes hope and the future free from violence against women and children. At kung napansin niyo, yun din yung mga mensahe ng ating mga hepe. Ayan, thank you so much for your time po sa ating mahuhusay at napaka-supportive na chief Of course, in the Curriculum Implementation Division and uh, Ma'am Gemma Cortez. And of course, to our SGOD, Dr. Leticia Lopez. And at this juncture, another message from the Supervisor of uh, the School Governance Operations Divisions, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Elaine Alvarez. Good morning, sir! Okay, so good morning to each and everyone. So, good morning, Sir Jeff. Actually, a uh, statement morning, of purpose po ako. <laughs> sir Alain, I'm sorry, medyo Ay, may yes, feedback sir. po sa atin. Um, Ay, okay po. Sa inyo. Sige po, ayusin ko lang po. Okay, so we will... Okay na po. Okay na po, sir. Ayan. Thank you po sa mga legacies. Or, paano meron ulit po naka-open na gadget nearby? <laughs> Ayan. Ayan, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Ayan. So, Ayan. Good uh, morning po once again, Sir Alain. It's nice to see you po <laughs> wearing orange. Ayan. Ang kulay ka. Yes, sir. Okay. Ang pasta, Color of the class, day. Mga kababaihan, mga kabata. To state the purpose of this division kickoff ceremony of this 18th day campaign to end violence against women and children, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Dr. Alain Alvarez. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Sir Jeff. Okay. So our main purpose for this activity is to empower women by campaigning women's and children's rights and available courses of actions in case these rights are violated. Encourage others to fight for women's and children's rights. Inform the public that the City Schools Division of Das Marinas is a government agency that promotes and supports anti-violence against women and children. So hone, refine, and develop. So we are united for a vow free witness. So good morning to each and everyone. Sabay tayo, sir. In three, <laughs> two, one. Let's, Let's unite. unite. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good having salama. Oh, uh, maraming maraming salama to our SGOD supervisor, sir Alain. Alvarez. Ay talaga namang ibang-iba talaga naman ang word of mouth at power of thumb natin. Ano? We are reaching uh, papunta na tayo sa 70. Walampas <laughs> na sa 50. <laughs> 700 views. Grabe. 
Ganun talaga ang power of time natin. Ano? Share, share ulit sa atin pong, uh, lalo na baka may mga SICs tayo dito, no? mga a school information uh, coordinator ba tag that uh, to share ayan good morning of course to our alternative learning system yay welcome po in this division a uh, kickoff ceremony ayan at sa lahat po ng nanonood may mga nagsesend sa akin ng mga pictures ano ang mga supervisors natin sa Dasma 2 Central and doon po silang lahat ay naka-orange din ayan hello hello shout out po sa inyong lahat Yes. Sunod po ako dyan later. <laughs> All right. At this point, we will hear an important message to be given to us by our school's division superintendent. Ladies and gentlemen, our OIC SDS in the City Schools Division of Das Marinas, Mr. Raimundo M. Cantonjos, Sesa 6. great and violence-free day to everyone. My greetings to all the men and women and lead implementers and partners and supporters of all our undertakings and activities for a violence-free against women, not only for an 18-day campaign, but in 365 days, 24-7, in all the days of our lives. As we give educational justice to our learners in giving quality accessible and uh, relevant education, quality education, it is but vital that we give also our disposition, our practice, and how we carry on ourselves, our personal department, as we support in our workplace, in our homes, and in our community. Let us join together to be a good person, both men and women, in the tune of equality, in fairness, but for us, gentlemen, let us give that respect and love to the ladies, to the to the women, because that is what the Bible says, and that is what the law tells. Again, congratulations to CSDO Das Marinas, Ren Salimbao, and everyone for this campaign. Again, not only for 18 days, but in 24/7 and 365 days. Thank you very much. Good morning. Thank you so much, SDS Nong Cantonhos, for the support to end the violence against women and children. Kanina napanood natin ang video ng isang babae na ini-interview, no? Violence against women. This time, but before that, <laughs> ay, meron tayo mga katanungan. Excited na ba kayong manalo ulit? No? Na ating, ayan, say no to plastic. Ayan. Sige. Ano kaya, kaya ito ang tanong ha, ano kaya ang hashtag natin for the 18-day campaign against uh, or to end the violence against women and children? Ano kaya ang hashtag, no? ang perfect na hashtag natin for this 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children? 2022, yes! Ayan, ano kaya maganda o perfect na hashtag natin sa ating 18-day campaign? Uy, akala ko si Jing Berganyo eh. Jing Ancheta pala. Good morning po watching from uh, Pintong Gubat Elementary School. Uy, sabi ni Ma'am Leia Ann Pante Cascanyo, hashtag bow free PH. Uy, madating din na. O, di ba? Ganun din ang sinabi ni Ma'am Mim? Meme. Ma'am Meme Melendres Reyes. Hashtag bow free Philippines. Ano kayang perfect natin dito? Uy, Si Ma'am Len, hashtag let's unite and then 
exclamation so dapat with feelings to let's unite <laughs> and from Sir Julius Dingel Ramos Wow free Philippines hashtag okay ano kaya ah sige sige uy Wow ah, Wow <laughs> to end Wow Anong may kulang na wala yung C. <laughs> uh, from uh, Mem. Ang uh, daming entry ni Ma'am ano, Melendry. So ano, nakakatawa. Very... Ano ba tayong pa-award sa participative? <laughs> Ayan. O, oh, diba? Ah, ito kasi yung sinabi ng mga PSDS. Ang laki pa lang okay namin doon. No? Labi namin, let's unite. Okay. <laughs> At ang pinakamalapit. At ang pinakamalapit na sagot. Ito po ang correct answer. Ladies and gentlemen, Hashtag, let's unite! Ayan, kaya ba, paulit-ulit na kami. Halos lahat yata ng nagsalita kanina. Congratulations to Ma'am Emily Belano. Let's unite! Okay? <laughs> Congratulations! Ay, yay! O, oh, diba? Congratulations po. Ayan, kanina nabanggit natin no, na yung video... Uh, bago tayo mag-opening at bago natin itinuloy ang ating program ngayong umaga ay isang interview at somehow related sa background ng RA9262 at syempre ng support din naman ng 18-day campaign natin ngayon. Pero may, meron tayo pang isang video na kailangan mapanoorin para makompleto itong ating kampanya para matapos ang violence against women and children. Natapos natin ang video kanina Uh, para sa mga kababaihan, suporta, ngayon naman, no, ay mapapanood naman natin ng isang video clip, short video clip lang. Malay nyo, doon manggaling ang susunod na katanungan, kaya manood po tayong mabuti. Uh, let's all watch this clip titled, Ang Katawan Ko. At ako. <laughs> ang Katawan Ko at ako. Ang katawan ko at ako. Kwento ni Ogi Rivera. Guhit ni Nicole Lim. Alam nyo na ba ang iba't ibang bahagi ng inyong katawan? Hi! Ituro natin at kilalanin. Hi! Paa, tuhod, palikat, ulo, pinti, baywang, kamay at braso. Itadian, liek at siko, mga bahagihan ng ating katawan. Marami pang ibang mga bahagi ang ating katawan. Kabilang na dyan ang masiselang bahagi o private parts. Alam niyo ba kung ano-ano yon? Ito ang mga bahaging natatakpa ng ating kasuotang panlangoy. Ang ating ari, pinis o titi sa lalaki at vagina o pepe sa babae, ang dibdib o dede at ang puwi. Laging tandaan ang patakaran. Walang sino mang pwedeng humawak sa masiselang bahagi ng inyong katawan. Maliban na lang kung ito ay para sa kalusugan at kalinisan. Ang inyong katawan ay sa inyo lamang. Kaya dapat nyo itong bantayan at alagaan. Okay lang na matutong magsabi ng Hindi! Tigil! Ayoko! Sa mas nakatatanda kung nakasalalay rito ang inyong kaligtasan. At para wag kayong malagay sa mga sitwasyong alanganin, delikado, at malapit sa anumang uri ng abuso. Hindi! Huwag! Tigil! Ayoko! Doon sa may playground May aling nag-aam Hanap niya ay cute na batang Hiling niyang panggigilan 
Lumapit siya kay Baste, kinurot pa sa pisngi. Nang akma siyang yakapin si Baste ay umiling. Hindi tigil ayoko, hindi tigil ayoko kapag may gustong yumaka. Pwede nyo itong tanggihan Hindi tigil ayoko Hindi tigil ayoko Walang pilitan dapat Lalo na kung ayaw nyo Doon sa may handaan, may mama na dumating. Ninong daw siya ni Zara, sa abroad daw siya nang galing. <laughs> si Zara ay nalito, nang lumapit ang mama. Kiss naman sa ninong dyan. Sabay nguso ay humaba Hindi tigil ayoko Hindi tigil ayoko Kapag may gustong humalik Pwede nyo tong tanggihan Hindi tigil ayoko Isang computer shop May aling nakipag-chat Hanap niya'y mga patang Gagawin daw niyang sikat Si Jello ay nagtaka Nang siya ay paghubarin Hindi lang daw sa kamera Bigyan siya ng pera Hindi tigil ayoko Hindi tigil ayoko Kung merong inuutos Na medyo kakaiba Hindi tigil ayoko Hindi tigil ayoko ang pilitan dapat lalo na kung ayaw nyo Sa bahay ni na Jessa may bisitang tumating doon daw muna titira ito ben kong Si Jess ay naguluhan Nang siya ay bulungan Gandong ka muna sa tito Nood tayo ng video Hindi tigil ayoko Hindi tigil ayoko kung mayroong inuutos na medyo kakaiba Hindi tigil ayoko Hindi tigil ayoko Walang pilitan dapat Lalo na kung ayaw nyo Tigil ayoko, hindi tigil ayoko Walang pilitan dapat, lalo na kung 
Good morning again para sa mga kapapasok lang. Ano po, may mga katanungan tayong tinatanong mula sa mga uh, pangyayari o sa video po na atin pong napanood. Ayan! At syempre, meron tayo yung papremyo. Papayag ba naman ang sir rent natin ng ganun-ganun na lang? Pwede po kayong manalo ng tumbler at wow! <laughs> ng atin pong uh, tote bag. Ayan! So, ang katanungan natin bago ang ating mahusay na speaker ngayong umaga in this division kickoff ceremony of the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children, ito na ang katanungan. Ano, pabilisan niya ito ng internet, ang apat, ayan, apat na mga salita na dapat sabihin ng mga kabataan natin para tumanggi sa mga posibleng exploitation na magawa sa kanila. Ano ang apat na mga salita? May pa pa siya. May pa pa. May pa pa. <laughs> Pero kulang ng isa. Ano kaya ayun? Alright. Para manalo na... Wow! Say no to plastic tote bag. Uy! Sino kaya? Sabi ni Ma'am Mads Villavicencio, hindi... Hindi. Tigil. Ayoko. <laughs> Di ba? LSS sa tayo. At may wag. Sige nga, tingnan pa natin ang ibang entries ng mga kasama natin. Ano? Sabi ni Ma'am Madge, hindi. Tigil. Ayoko. Wag. Sa- Uy, talaga namang napa... Ay, nako, sir. Baka pwede natin... <laughs> ang dami ng entry ni Ma'am Mim. Ma'am Meme. Hindi. Tigil. Ayoko. Hindi. <laughs> tigil. Ayoko. Ayan. O, si Ma'am... This meal, parehas din nung nauna, no? Ganun din si Ma'am Sheryl, the two win. Ah, At may umahabol. <laughs> may umahabol na kasama namin dito sa opisina. Ayan, hindi. Ayoko tigil wag. <laughs> Pero, Pero ang kauna-unahan pong nagpasa ng pinakatamang sagot, lahat naman, halos lahat ng nag-comment ngayon, tama yung sagot nila. Pero ang kauna-unahan po na nagpasa ng tamang sagot, ay, nako, gusto yata ni Ma'am LJ kakanta pa siya dito. <laughs> Sing and dance para may tote bag. Sabi ni Ma'am, hindi. Tigil, ayoko. <laughs> Alright, may natutunan sa video. Congratulations po, Ma'am Mads Villavicencio. Yay! May tote bag po kayo. Ang ganda, Ma'am. Pwede po itong pamalengke o pwede din po sa inyong um, ano to, laptop. Oo, ang ganda po kaya. At saka, ang kagandahan dito may zipper. So, ito po, item number. <laughs> Pamay na lang po. Ayan, say no to plastic. Ayan, ito po. Congratulations, Ma'am Mads, at this juncture. It is my honor and my privilege to uh, introduce to you our resource speaker. And our resource speaker, ladies and gentlemen, is a nurse by profession. O, di ba? Talagang tamang-tama sa kanya ang um, pag uh, ang ating topic ngayon no sa ating uh, dinidiscuss or sa division kick off natin ng violence as women and children because she is a nurse by profession and uh, she graduated from University of Perpetual Health Laguna City of Binyan with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing at wag ka din lister lang naman itong ating resource speaker ngayon and she is also the senior student council officer back then and uh, recently uh, she is taking up masters of divinity at Grace School of Theology Woodlands Texas USA wow naman and of course ang pakarami na din po niya mga seminars and trainings attended related to uh, her topic this morning, including ethical moral issues, um, research enhancement, and breakthrough thinking in uh, maternals para sa mga kababaihan and child nursing. O, diba? Talaga namang uh, when it comes to background on the topic this morning, she is very into it. At dami na rin yung mga schools na na-lecturan. Ako, 
isa-isahin ko pa ba ito? Napakarami na po mga universities like Xavier University, Ateneo de Cagayan de Oro, Makati Medical Center College, Ateneo de Davao, University of St. Lasal, Bacolod, and many, many more. Ladies and gentlemen, she is a freelance national reviewer in the National er, uh, Nursing Review Center and Training at Laguna Iloilo, a staff nurse in University of the Philippines Medical Center Laguna, a trainer, an American, a trainer in American Heart Association, and the CEO president of a Vanguardia's Review and Training Center, an associate professor in College of Nursing in Medici di Makati College or formerly Makati Medical Center College, and a minister in a Victory Church. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause to Ma'am Maria Teresa del Rosario G. Pimentel Van Guardia. Thank you, Dr. Jeff. Grabe, napagod ka ba sa pangalan ko? <laughs> Ang haba, di ba? So can you just imagine Good how, morning. how Good morning. it was really hard for me to write my name when I was young. And so I want to take this time first before I start to thank you guys. Thank you, Sir Ren. Thank you, Sir um, Jeff, uh, Sir Elaine, Sir Raymond, and um, Dr. Leticia, and also Dr. Gemma for that wonderful um, messages that you have given earlier and also for the opportunity for me to to speak in behalf of um, the organization that I'm representing for today. And of course, maraming maraming salamat again kay Sir Ren for inviting me. So when I was watching the videos that um, were shown, especially the last one, it really made an impact to me. For one, I am a mother and my eldest is um, already in college, studying in Dasmarinas at uh, De La Salle University, med bio student. And when he was around, I think when he was around nine years old, we started to teach him about what sex is because, you know, this has been a taboo, especially for Filipinos. But you don't want to, but the last place that you would want to talk about it would be the home, which is in fact what we want to teach now. So I'm, I'm really hoping that the video that you have just shown is being shown also to the students, sa mga, lalo na sa mga elementary pupils natin. My second child is um, already nine years old and my youngest is six. And so we are already starting to teach them, especially the swimsuit body parts, the one that was discussed in sang kanina. So that's exactly how we teach them. And so I really appreciate you guys for doing all these things, not just for the teachers, not just for the educators, but also for the students. And so to start off this um, talk about um, violence uh, against women and children, na free talaga, yan yung goal natin, eh, to have this vow, uh, vow see free Philippines. Um, you know, na mention na yung, yung background ko as a nurse, and primarily I'm teaching maternal and child nursing. So that covers OB and pediatric nursing. So this is really, really close to my heart. And one of the many things that I, whenever I teach sa mga sujante ko na mga nurses who are preparing for the licensure examination, when you encounter a child, make sure, especially when it comes to health education, you teach them how to call properly their body parts. Kasi a lot of times, this is where na mamask yung violence, na mamask yung harassment. So now, what I'm going to be talking about as we start off this beautiful um, th th this beautiful topic on violence, vision, uh, value violence and vision, as we try to, you know, um, bring this knowledge and hopefully apply it in our personal lives as professionals and for the students in their personal lives, I want to start with something that is on the roots of it all. Because many times, whenever we talk of value, the world redefines what value is. Eh. Kung naaalala nyo tong picture na nandito, sino sa inyo nakaabot dito? This is a Nokia 7650 and this was launched around 2002. Ayan, di ba? And I was one of those privileged students during that time. College ako niyan eh. Na, na, nakagamit ako not because my parents gave it to me but nahihiram ko siya dun sa nanay ko. My, my mom was a principal before she retired. She's, she's also an educator. Same with my dad. So magtataka pa ba kayo kaming lahat ay ganito. So this phone, when it was launched 20 years ago, this was around $400 or sige, 
sabi natin 20 to 10, 25,000 pesos. But right now, 20 years after, it has lost its value. Wala na siya eh, di ba? Nokia, uh, binili na siya ng Microsoft, di ba? And then nabenta ulit sa isang company in Finland. And so, this year, nil- nilabas naman yung iPhone 14. Yan, si Sir Rent yata naka-iPhone 14 na hindi ba ba? Yan, so nilaunch na naman yung bagong phone. And every year, may nilalabas na phone na grabe yung tingin natin dun sa value. But after a couple of years, what do you think will happen to that value? It will start to deplete. Pababa ng pababa yung value ng mga gadgets na meron tayo. But I hope and pray that for all of us, if there is one value na hindi mawawala, that is our value to ourselves. Ano yung tingin natin sa ating mga sarili? And so, where I want to start is to discuss about what value means in a different context because the world right now tries to redefine our value based on our career, based kung ano yung mga nakadugtong sa pangalan mo, ikaw ba ay LPT, RN, MAN, MSN, EDD, PhD, lahat na lang ng letters dinugtong, wag lang yung RIP, di ba? Yung value mo nakadepende ba doon? Nakadepende ba doon sa career? Nakadepende ba yan sa sweldo mo? Nakadepende ba yan sa phone na gamit mo? Nakadepende ba yan sa klase ng sasakyan na dinedrive mo? Nakadepende ba yan sa maraming external things? Because when all of those things are stripped away, when all of those things bumagsak ang value, ano yung value mo? So for this morning, I want to ask us this question. What is your value? And where does it come from? For a person who made a cell phone, for example, I'm the one who discovered the phone. I know what the value is. I decide what the value is. And I decide what the purpose of this phone is. Diba? iPhone 8 pa lang, diba? Parang ang tagal-tagal na, hindi pa napapalitan. Basta gumagana pa siya. I know I can make this, you know, just a paperweight. Parang pantakip ko lang sa mga notes ko para hindi lipa rin. Or pwede ko siyang gawing plancha kasi medyo mainit-init na siya. But kung hindi ko ma-maximize yung value kung para saan ito create, sayang lang. So para sa atin, sino ang maker natin at ano ang value natin? Saan ito nang gagaling? Kasi kung ang value natin ay tinitingnan natin base sa ating paniniwala or base sa paniniwala ng mundo, maaring dumating yung time na even yung tingin mo dun sa value mo start na mag-decrease. And so you might be wondering, may value pa ba ako? Kasi lagi akong ginugost eh. May value pa ba ako? Bagsak ako sa ganitong subject eh. May value pa ba ako? Eh sinabihan ako ng BOBO eh. May value pa ba ako? Eh sila lahat naka-iPhone 14 na ako naka-iPhone 4 pa din. May value pa ba ako? Ano yung value mo? And you know what? Na-mention kanina ni, uh, I think that was Sir Raymond, that the very reason why we start all these things about allowing us to understand the value of an individual, whether you're a woman, you're a man, you're a child, whatever gender you may be in, whatever ethnicity, whatever race, whatever age, your value is the same. Why? Because the Bible says so. In the beginning, when God created everything, the pattern is word, work, and word. Let there be light, and it was so, and it was good. Let there be, and it was so, and it was good. But during the sixth day of creation, the half of sixth day, instead of God saying, let there be man, and it was so, and it was good, he said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. I want us to understand that, that the value that we have as individuals, regardless of our gender, ethnicity, age, is anchored on the fact that our maker, when he decided to make us, we're going to look like him and mirror his image. You are valuable. You are important. Babae ka, bata ka, lalaki ka, ano pang lahi mo, ano pang gender mo, anong edad mo, you are valued. You are more precious than diamonds. Sabihin mo yan sa sarili mo ngayon, I am valuable, I am important, I am worthy, I am loved. But you know, the story did not end there. What happened is that when sin came into the picture, the relationship of God and man starts to break because of sin. Nasira yung relationship na yun. And you know what the results are? The results are three things. There is guilt, there is shame, and there is fear. 
Remember what Adam and Eve did? They tried to hide from God. They tried to cover themselves. They tried to blame and guilt trip each other. And that's exactly what we are experiencing whenever we face this kind of problems like abuse. You feel the guilt. You feel the fear. You feel the shame. You feel like your value as a woman, as a person, starts to deplete. Kasi naabuso ka na eh. Kasi nahawakan ka na doon sa mga bagay, sa parte ng katawan na hindi dapat hinahawakan. Kasi na-experience mo na yung ganitong bagay. So ayaw mo magsumbong, ayaw mo magsalita. Kasi nakakahiya. Baka kasi kasalanan ko to. Baka kasi dahil ito sa pananamit ko. Baka ako pa yung pagalitan. Baka hindi na nila ako lapitan kasi nakakadiri na ako. May mga ganun tayong naiisip. Same thing with the result of sin. Guilt, fear, and shame. That's the result of our broken relationship with God. And so this morning, we're going to be focusing just on four verses. And dito natin maiintindihan, ano ba yung value natin as an individual? How do we respond to certain issues like violence? And what does God want us to do? How to see it? with the lens that he is using. Ready na ba? Intro pa lang pala yun. So what is your value and where does it come from? I'd like us to read in Ephesians chapter 1, verses 7 to 10. This is written by the Apostle Paul. If kilala natin, St. Paul, the Apostle Paul. When um, Paul started his journey, he was just like one of us. He was a persecutor of Christians. He was a sinner. And he thinks his value is higher than of the others. Iba yung tingin niya sa sarili niya. Pinalaki siya ng mga Pharisees, kanyang mga magulang, lumaki siya na merong maayos na pag-aaral, at parang dahil doon sa pag-aaral na yun, ang baba ng tingin niya sa ibang tao. Kaya ang dali sa kanya para mag-persecute. But when he was on his way, the road to Damascus, he, he received the vision, and God spoke to him. And he realized what he was doing was wrong. And so he was transformed. And in one of his many uh, church planting journeys, during the last trip that he had, nakulong siya, pinatapon siya sa Rome, and he wrote this letter to the church in Ephesus. So mulat siya ng liham para sa simbahan na nakasituate sa Ephesus. And that's why the letter is called Ephesians. Ephesians. And, and so this letter starts in chapter 1. Sabi dito sa verse 7, In him... We have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight, making known to us the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. When Paul was writing this letter, his vision was to let the people be reminded because the, the, the place that the city was situated, port area siya. So in that port area, pumapasok doon lahat ng mga kalakal, lahat ng bagong information, lahat ng bagong teachings, and so madali kang magulo. Madali kang makonfuse. Diba tayo? Parang, uy, uso na naman yung K-drama. So ikaw ngayon parang, uy, medyo nakakalimutan ko ng Pilipino ako. Ah. Pagka na bad trip ako, parang, duwegere, duwegere, gonyo. Ganun na yung mga expression mo. Eh. Diba? Kung ikaw ay galing sa probinsya, let's say, galing ka sa Iloilo, kung matagal ka na dito sa Cavite, diba, mag-iiba na yung punto mo. Dati nalalaman talaga nila ng taga Iloilo ka or taga Bacolod kasi sumasayaw talaga yung mga letra. Ngayon, iba na. Iba ka na magsalita, nakain, naulan, ganun na yung Tagalog mo, nag-iiba. And so for that place who is exposed to a lot of culture and new teachings, the fear of the Apostle Paul is baka makalimutan nila kung sino sila. And so that's why he had to start his letter with reminding him, in him, in God, we have redemption through his blood. And if you are from that kind of culture from before, when you realize and hear that word blood, you remember the story in Egypt. When during that time that the angel of death sweeps around Egypt, the instruction for the people of God was to slay a perfect lamb at i-cover yung blood na yon doon sa doorpost 
so that the angel of death will spare those who are inside. The angel of death will not check who's inside. Hindi niya na-check, o si Red ba yung nandyan, si Raymond ba yung nandyan, si, si Doc Jeff ba yung nandyan, si Ma'am Maika ba yung nandyan, si Ma'am Madel ba yung nandyan. Hindi niya chinecheck, chinecheck niya lang kung kaninong dugo yung nandun. Kung yun ba ay dugo ng isang perfect lamb. And so he had to remind them, in him, we have redemption. That is your value. Remember that relationship that was broken? Minsan, di ba, parang gusto kong bumait pero di ko magawa. Kasi sira na yung relationship ko with God eh. Na parang lahat ng gagawin ko, mas madali ang tendency for me to sin. You don't have to even teach children to sin. You don't have to teach them how to feel guilty. You don't have to teach them how to feel shameful. Kahit na parang feeling mo, wala naman silang kasanalan. That's the normal response now because of that sinful nature. And the reminder is in Him, you have been redeemed. Hindi na ikaw to, you are a new person. You have received the forgiveness. You are cleansed. So whatever happened in your past, whatever it is that you're experiencing right now, whether you are a victim of abuse, you have been abused before, you are an abuser. In Him, you are redeemed through His blood. The forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of His grace. And what does grace mean? Kasi many times, it gets compared with mercy. Mercy is something that you do not deserve, but I'm gonna prevent the punishment now because of mercy. Hindi kita paparusahan, kumbaga kung ikaw ay teacher, yung bata na awa ka, ang grade dapat 72, o sige, 75 na lang. At least pasado, di ba? Hinult mo muna yung pagbagsak niya, bibigyan mo pa ng chance. Pero ang grace, hindi ganun. Hindi ka pumasok, hindi ka nagpasa ng project, hindi ka pa nag-exam, pero binigyan kita ng 90. Bo, grabe naman yun. Grabe naman yun. 90 talaga, ganun ang grace. You do not deserve it. We do not deserve it. Because all of us are sinners. All of us. It's not just the abusers. All of us. All of us, every single one of us, just our thoughts, just our feelings, just our actions from before and up to right now, we are all sinners. But because we have been redeemed according to the riches of His grace, which He lavished in upon all us, all of us, in all wisdom and insight. So if we remember this and put this deep in our hearts, that I am valuable. I am important, I am valued. Not because of the things that I can do, not because of my past. Ganun man kadumi, kamakasalanan ang nakaraan ko, sa tingin ko man at sa tingin ng ibang tao, ito alalang ang value ko. Ang sabi ni God, you are redeemed. You are valued, you are important. You are created in the image and likeness of our maker. And once we understand our value, remember this. When you know your worth, no one can make you feel worthless. No one. And so I want us to understand this. Kung meron tayong kinakounsel for the educators who are here, if there's anyone whom you are thinking na parang itong batang to nagsabi na sa akin or meron siyang history ng ganitong abuse, am I qualified? Kasi ako mismo, biktima ako niyan eh. Ako mismo, mali yung mga desisyon na ginawa ko, hindi ako nagsumbong. Start with that value. Make that person understand that you are valued, you are important, you are loved, you are more precious than diamond. Why? Because when God cre created you, He decided to create you in His image and likeness. That person is important. Bata man yan, babae man yan, lalaki man yan, may pagkukulang man yan or wala, siya ay mahalaga. And when you know your worth, no one can make you feel worthless. And so slowly, that shame that you start to feel will start to slough off. It starts to peel off. Hindi na ako mahihiyang magsumbong. Eh ano naman ngayon kung parang at first may, parang ha talaga ba nangyari yan sa'yo? Eh ano naman ngayon kung ganyan ang sabihin nila? Eh ano man ngayon kung hindi ako manalo sa kaso at least nagsalita ako? Eh ano naman ngayon kung ito yung aking nakaraan? I know my worth is not gonna change. My word says my maker, I am valuable, I am important, I am loved. Know your worth and no one can make you feel worthless. 
And so for the people that Paul was writing to, he wanted them to understand and remember that. You guys are redeemed. You are no longer the same people that you are. You are important. And so let's continue. In verse 9, he says, Making known to us the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ. I've asked this question to myself several times. When I was in my journey of getting to know God, I asked myself this question, and I guess for all of us, makakarelate kayo dito. Lord, talaga bang mahalaga ako sa'yo? Bakit mo hinahayaan na mangyari ito sa buhay ko? I've had a very unforgettable experience when I was in college. And, you know, that's why when, when Sir Rent asked me to speak, I was really, actually I was ambivalent. Because I might, you know, open up my heart and share to you my story, which it's, it's really hard for me because I too was a victim. And then I get to ask this question several times. Parang, Lord, mahal mo ba ako? Bakit mo hinayaan mangyari ito? And it was, when I was able to pass through that stage, when I realized na ang dami palang problema ng mundo, no? ang dami palang mas naabuso kumpara sa akin. Ang dami ngayon ang biktima ng tra- child trafficking. Ang dami ngayon ang biktima ng abuse, biktima ng rape, biktima ng sarili nilang mahal sa buhay. Sabi nga ni Ma'am kanina, and I, was, and I did the same research, one out of three uh, women age 15 to 49, they are victims of abuse here in the Philippines. That's 35%, not just in the Philippines, but even globally. And so you might be thinking, bakit, bakit nangyayari yun? Bakit may nagugutom sa South Africa? Bakit may climate change? Ba- gusto kong i-address lahat ng bagay na to, pero parang hindi ko kaya. Gusto kong bigyan ng solusyon lahat ng problema sa mundo, pero hindi ko kaya. Kaya nga, madalas, we get disappointed with sino bang susunod na magiging presidente, sino bang magiging susunod na governor or na mayor, baka siya na talaga yung pag-asa, baka mababawasan na yung problema ko, baka tumaas na yung sweldo nating mga teachers at ng mga nurses, baka lang. And then we get frustrated. And then we encounter personal problems, global problems, national problems, and it piles up. At ang sabi dito sa verse 9, the mystery of His will according to His purpose which He set forth in Christ. What is the purpose of God? What is the will of God? Part of His will? For us to suffer? Tama ba yun? Baka naman, Lord, hindi mo talaga kami mahal. Baka naman pinabayaan mo na kami. Baka naman hindi mo kami naririnig. And let me just tell you this, guys. These are just branches. These are just leaves of a very large root. And that root to all of these problems that we are encountering, whether we're talking about climate change, abuse, world war, or whatever, the root of it starts in Genesis, and that is sin. Because of sin, people tend to become greedy. People tend to want to overpower women and children because they think that they are physically weak. I am stronger. I can overpower them. I can do whatever I want. That selfish desire the root of that is sin. That selfish desire by nations who want to conquer other nations, the result of that is sin. And so what is the purpose of God? For as long as we are in this broken world, living in this broken body who is prone to sickness and illness, it's not going to stop. No matter how much we try, and I'm not saying you don't try. You still put an effort. Part of what we do is social responsibility. That's why I appreciate Sir Rent for doing all these initiatives of, you know, stop using plastic and all of those things because it can help. It will help from that little trickle of the things that we do in our little ways. It can help. But how do we address the root of it all? The root, which is sin. And that is the mystery that God wants to reveal to His people according to His purpose. We're not going to live in this world forever. One day, we're going to die. All of us will die. But that's not the end. We are in this world, but not of this world. And the only thing that can provide solution to that sin is the good news of God that he has redeemed all of us. Imagine this message of the gospel 
that you are forgiven, you are redeemed, you are valued. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You share this even to perpetrators, even to sinful men, even to sinful women, even to those who have been abused, even to those people who feel like their purpose and their value is gone. And this little seed that you have planted in their heart will just continue to grow. How beautiful the world will be living in. If all of us will understand, valuable pala siya. Porque babae ba, mas mababa ang value. Pag naintindihan ng mga lahat ng tao na babae ka man o lalaki, anumang gender mo, anumang edad mo, anumang kultura mo, anong ethnicity mo, anong cultural background mo, ang value natin pantay-pantay. Mas magiging maayos siguro yung buhay. And that is the mystery of the will of God. That's the purpose that He wants us to enjoy, that He wants us to understand that our broken relationship with Him can one day be restored fully restored and we can walk with him once again and so with the violence that we are addressing right now here's the problem it's not just violence it's not just war it's not just climate change all of these things that the root is sin what, what's gonna happen every time we talk about violence especially if we experience it firsthand violence makes us forget who we are the value that we have, nakakalimutan natin eh. ba? Diba? Violence makes us forget who we are. But remember, our value does not depend on our scars. Ikaw man ay may pinagdadaanan, ikaw man ay nanggaling sa isang nakaraan na pakiramdam mo sobrang dilim, hindi mababawasan ang value mo bilang isang tao. At I hope for those people who have experience being the one on the other side, demeaning the value of other people, I hope you too will understand this, na ang value mo at ang value niya ay parehas lang. So kung ikaw yung peklat na meron ka sa buhay mo, dahil parang, uy, napakamakasalanan ko, parang hindi na ako valuable, ha? kasi ako yung, ako yung gumawa nito doon sa isang tao. Remember, your value does not depend on your scar. And if you're this person, you're this woman, you're this child, you have been a victim of abuse, remember this. Your value does not depend on the scars that you have experienced. So that's value. That's the violence, the issue. So again, let's go back. Remember yung first point natin. Ano yung sinabi natin kanina? When you know your worth... No one can make you feel worthless. And violence makes us forget who we are. But remember, our value does not depend on our scars. You are valuable. You are important. You are loved. And let's go to the last verse. As a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven, and things on earth. What is the vision of God for all of us? Paul was writing, remember this letter for the church in Ephesus, reminding them, guys, you are redeemed. You are no longer the same people that you were before. No matter what the world will try to feed you, no matter what um, new ideas they will put in your mind, remember this, you are loved, you are redeemed, you are forgiven. Wag niyong kakalimutan yun. That comes from the wisdom of God. And um, he wants you to understand that, that mystery of his will according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ. Do not forget what Christ has done for you. Remember your value. Yes, may pinagdadaanan ka, but remember your value. And so God wants us to enjoy this vision that he has for all of us as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him. Remember where I started back in the garden when the relationship of God and man was broken. And the result is fear, guilt, and shame. And for the victims, they, these are the things that they feel. Kahit hindi nila kasalanan talaga, hindi talaga nila kasalanan. Wala silang ginagawa, hindi ito dahil sa kanilang pananamit, hindi ito dahil na mayroong opportunity, wala silang ginagawa, pero yun ang nararamdaman nila. And so that kind of relationship starts to get broken. And because of sin, coming into the picture, para silang nakukover na ng shame, ng fear, ng guilt. And for all of us, 
That's exactly what we are experiencing. Guilt. Na parang, ay, hindi ko na kaya. Huwag na lang kaya. Huwag na lang kaya ako bumalik kay God. Huwag na lang ako mag-pray. Huwag na lang kaya ako sumunod sa kanya kasi feeling ko hindi naman niya ako mapapatawad. Shame. Nakakahiya eh. Huwag ko na lang isumbong. Nakakahiya eh. Huwag na lang ako lumapit. Hindi na lang ako magsisimba. Hindi na lang ako babasa na scripture. I'm not worthy. Fear. Baka naman parusa sa akin to ni Lord. Yun yung mga iniisip natin. But the vision of God for all of us in the fullness of time unite all things in Him. And so, all over the Bible, you can see how a powerful, mighty, loving God tried to restore that relationship that was broken. And He saw, he, he sent patriarchs, He sent kings, He sent prophets, and ultimately, He sent His Son to die for all of our sins so that one day, we can go back. He is our high priest. We can face Him without any guilt, without any shame, without any fear. And we can be reunited with Him. Telling Him, na Lord, andito ako. Alam ko, ako yung nawala. Hindi ka nawala. But here I am, with open arms. Thank you for loving me despite my experiences. Thank you for loving me despite of my sins. And you know what the vision of God for all of us? God's vision for you and me. God's vision is for you, for you, is to have peace. And sometimes whenever we think of peace, this is the absence of problem. But you know what peace means? What shalom really means? It's not the absence of problems, but it's the presence of God in our lives. Dumating man yung time na hindi mo alam kung ano talaga yung gagawin mo. Hirap ka man problema mo sa pera. You may not have financial freedom, but you have financial peace. You may not be blooming in your career, but you know in the eyes of God you are precious. You might have several experiences in your past that people try to define you from that experiences, but you know your worth. People may judge you. People may look at you differently. You may have the nastiest experiences. You may have the horrible experiences and your healing may be hard. But the gift, but the vision of God that he wants for you to enjoy is to have that kind of peace. And peace doesn't come from the absence of problems, but from the presence of God in our lives. And so I hope we can enjoy that peace for all of us in the fullness of time. And so balikan natin. Sabi natin kanina, when you know your worth, no one can ever make you feel worthless. And so I hope that even to, for other people, that is how you see others. They are worthy as much you are worthy. They are valuable as much as they are valuable. Every single student na hawak mo ngayon, every single classmate na meron ka, every single person na makaka- ma-encounter mo, they are also valuable. And then of course, whatever kind of violence and experience you might have encountered, remember, no amount of scar can redefine your value. And finally, God's vision for you is to have peace. And peace doesn't come from the absence of problems, but from the presence of God in our lives. And so how do we get all these things? Kasi parang ang sarap pakinggan na alam mo yung value mo as a person. Na alam mo na worthy ka and no one can make you feel worthless. Na naiintindihan mo na ngayon na uy, kahit anong experience at ang, anuman ang nangyayari sa mundo, anuman yung scar na pinagdaanan ko, anuman yung sakit ng aking kahapon, ginost man niya ako kahapon lang at paulit-ulit akong nagkakamali alam ko hindi nun mare-redefine yung value ko. And I know that the kind of vision God has for me is to have peace. So how do I do this? Let's go back to the verses that we've read. Notice in the three cuts, divisions that we did, there is one thing in common. In Him, in Christ, in Him. It starts with acknowledging that apart from the grace in mercy of God, we can do it on our own. Mahirap eh. May kaibigan ka na nga eh. May nalalapitan ka na nga. May pamilya ka na nga eh. Ang, ang hirap. How much more for those who are alone? But remember this. That's why 
several times the Apostle Paul had to pound this over and over again. Not of your strength, not of your experiences, not of the things that you can do, not out of works, but only in Him, through Him, in Christ, what He has done for you. It's not about who you are, but it's about what He has done for you. Not about of the things that you're capable of doing, but because of who He is. He is the blood that is covered in the doorpost of your heart, that when God sees you, you are forgiven, you are redeemed, you are given a new life. Kung ano man yung pinagdaanan mo nung nakaraan, or kung ano man yung pinagdadaanan mo ngayon, your value is important because you are in Him. And I hope, you know, as, as, I, as I end this short message of value, of the issues on violence, and of God's vision for all of us, my prayer is that we start with the core. And it's not going to end in 18 days. It's very timely that we start this day one. Today is Thanksgiving in America. And kaya wala kaming pasok. Yan. Happy Thanksgiving. So for all of us, this is a way of our Thanksgiving. Not just the government has provided this kind of program for all of us. Not just for the team who's behind this but you know, everything starts from that root. The value that God has for you, do not forget that. Let that be the very beginning of this 18-day campaign. Valuable ka. Babae ka, bata ka, lalaki ka, ano man ang pinanggalingan mo, ano man ang gender mo, ano man ang edad mo, mahalaga ka sa paningin ng Panginoon. At wag na wag mo yung kakalimutan. Wag mong aalisin yan sa iyong puso at isipan. Para kahit anuman ang pagdaanan mo sa buhay, that value that God has given you, that will give you peace because you have Him in your life. And so, maybe before we go, if there are questions, may, can, can I just take this time to um, pray for all of us? For all of us who are watching, maybe some of you guys will be watching the replay, but this is not an accident that you are here and you're listening to this message Maybe you can direct relate or maybe God is preparing you for you will be able to counsel a person who's experiencing problems like violence. But let me just pray for us. Lord, our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this time. That We thank you, Lord, for the initiative of our government. We thank you for the people behind this doing all these things in order for us to understand the value of individuals and the value of those who are, you know, especially those um, na, na vulnerable in our society, women and children. Thank you, God, for the value that you have instilled back in Genesis. It's the same value that we have right now, regardless of our experiences, regardless of our background, regardless of the things that we have done in the past. Lord, maraming salamat for you are cleansing us, you are giving us a fresh start, and you are giving us that wisdom that comes from your spirit, that whenever we face people who are experiencing these problems, we can boldly tell them who they are in you, in Christ, that we are redeemed, we are forgiven, we are, we are refreshed, we are a new creation. And Lord, we just pray for everyone who are listening, may the healing that comes from you be a light that will just shine in us and through us. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Miss Madela. That was so inspiring. No? At alam nyo po, um, sa buhay nating mga public servant, uh, minsan nakakapagod. But hearing the message this morning, grabe po yung impact nito spiritually. And uh, I, I do believe that everything happens for a reason. Tama po kayo. Uh, hindi ito nangyari ng by accident. Sa mga nakikinig po ngayon in this division kick-off ceremony of the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children, this is such a blessing to all of us. Thank you so much po, Ms. Madel. And now we will entertain uh, questions po from our participants in the platform. But before that, let me read no, from Ma'am Jennifer Laurenta Luaton. May mga magulang po tayong nanonood. And um, syempre, ang mga magulang din talaga, we know that the basic unit of the society is the family. Napaka-importante po ng role na ginagampanan ng ating mga pamilya. Kaya po napakahalaga po na alam din natin 
no uh, kung paano ng mga bata din protektahan ang sarili nila know your worth no ang ganda noon i am valued and no one can make me feel unworthy because i am worthy in his sight thank you so much for that beautiful beautiful message ma'am madel ayan from ma'am jopa de mapilis it's a really a blessing to all of us god bless po ayan at Mamadel, tulungan mo po akong gumawa ng mga katanungan. Mukhang walang question ng ating mga participants. Pero bago tayo gumawa po, mamadel ng mga questions, ay para, ma'am, kayo ma'am para sa mga tumbler mamaya, ah, ubusin ko po muna yung mga tote bag po natin. Sa ating most participative, ayan, no? kanina si Ma'am Meme. Nandito pa ba si Ma'am Mim? Ayan, galaw-galaw po ang baso. Nandito pa si Ma'am Mim. Congratulations po. Yeah, napaka part ang grabing participation ni Ma'am sa comment section. Congratulations, Ma'am. This is for you. Ayan, congratulations po. Ayan, nandito pa si Ma'am Mi Melendres Reyes. Ma'am, from what school nga po kayo? Please type in your your school po para or you can claim po yung ito pong tote bag ninyo dito sa division office. Ayan. <laughs> All right. Another, may tatlo pa po tayo na tote bag, ano, ubusin na lang din natin. Nababanggit natin kanina, no, yung ating uh, um, 18-day campaign. Kung nagsimula siya ng November 25, kailan kaya? <laughs> Pero sabi nga natin, ha, ito, yung kampanya lang yung matatapos. Pero yung, yung ating advokasya ay magtutuloy-tuloy taon, ah, hindi lang ngayon, kung hindi hanggang sa mga susunod pa. Kailan daw po magtatapos ang kampanya, kampanya of this uh, end violence against women and children? Ayan, ang, oh, nagpapasok ka na ang mga uh, kasagutan. Alright. Si Ma'am oh December, oy, maka nakakita tayo ng dalawang magkaibang kasagutan sir rent dito, no? 2033 pa pala matatapos, sir. <laughs> Mama, ang haba naman pala. Ang haba naman pala. Pero thank you. Gusto ko yung sagot ni Ma'am Len. November 13, 2033. 2033, wow. Okay, ayan. Ang sabi po no doon nung inextend daw po kasi uh, this uh, vow C no nung pagtiningin natin po yung um, mga proclamation no under 1172 uh, extending the national campaign to 18 days ayan thereby this will end and this will conclude on Sino kaya ang kauna-unahang nagsagot ng tama? December 12, 2022. Congratulations, Ma'am Leia and Pante Cascano. Another tote bag po for you. Congratulations. Pero Ma'am, gusto natin yung 2033. No? Yes, mas gusto ko yung sagot ni Ma'am Lynn kasi talagang matagal. That's, matagal that's really amazing. <laughs> Ayan, 2033. Ayan, no? another um, appreciation message from Ma'am Catherine Toledo de Torres. So inspiring. It really heartfelt and helpful, especially to us as teacher and parent as well. Kasi alam naman po natin, no, sa Magna Carta ng teachers, ang mga kaguruan po, ang pangalawang mga magulang ng ating mga anak sa paaralan. Ayan. Kaya po talaga yes, itong mensahe. Ngayong umaga ay napakahalaga. Parang right. ano sir, wala si yata silang masyadong question but um, so I want to take this time also to address all the teachers kasi for 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 all of us, syempre I'm part of the academe so I, ramdam ko to na randomly people will come to you and will ask for advice, will ask for prayer, will ask for counseling kahit na parang out of scope na ng dinesign na sa atin sa trabaho, out of the ano na ng time natin in service, gabi-gabi may magchat-chat sa iyo, may tatawag sa iyo, 'di ba? And all throughout, parang you feel na para akong nauuupo sa dami ng kina-counsel ko. Nararamdaman ba natin 'yon sa mga teachers? So for us educators, I think the principle of you cannot pour from an empty cup. 
you cannot give what you don't have. That is very important. So for all of us, this is a very timely reminder para sa ating mga guro na sa atin muna, simulan natin na if we need help, if we need prayers, there are people whom we can talk to and go to and ask for prayers. But most importantly, we can go to God every single time that we need help. Para pag meron tayong binasa na salita ng Diyos or nakinig tayo sa isang preaching or meron tayong na- naalala from a previous seminar that we've attended, from that yun yung maibibigay natin eh. Whenever you submerge yourself like a sponge to water, kapag dumating ang time that you will be pressed and you need to respond, yun yung lalabas sa iyo. So saan natin sinasubmerge ang ating mga sarili bilang mga guru? That is very important. So for all the teachers who are watching, you are valued, you are important, you are worthy, and I really salute and commend you all for doing the extra mile every single time, especially when it comes to topics like this. So maraming salamat po sa mga guru. Thank you so much, Mama Del, for that. I uh, appreciate affirmation of uh, the ayan yung mga tungkulin natin duties and responsibilities of a teacher thank you so much po ma'am Madel ayan back to isang tooth bag ang ating ipamimigay ang katanungan ay tumbler na ba tayo agad oh sige na nga <laughs> sige na <laughs> napilitan alright meron po tayong how many tumbler? apat na tumblers po na ipamimigay ngayon. Para sa unang tumbler, the question is, what have you learned today? Pang Miss Universe na katanungan to, Sir Renta. <laughs> what have you learned uh, today? Uh, sige, habang naghihintay tayo uh, ng ka- mag- magagandang answer ng ating mga viewers po sa ating platform, ibigay na natin yung last tote bag po natin for today. And the question is, What is the title of the topic discussed to us this morning by Mama Del? Ayan, para sa tote bag po natin, ano nga ba ang title? No, tatlong V po ito, victory. And para sa Tumblr, how to live meaningful, useful, and grateful life with God no matter what happened to us. Uy, ang ganda din nun, ano? Is this the winner, Sir Rent? O mag, mag-entertain pa tayo ng ibang entries? All right. Siya lang. Congratulations, Ma'am Lorna Toledo Salcedo. Wow! O, ang ganda po nitong tumbler na to. Ayan, no? Care of Kultura. Care of Kultura. May ano ba yun? <laughs> Ayan, no? Ang ganda. May kape na daw sa loob. Opo. Oh, <laughs> may kape na daw sa loob. Congratulations. So, parang bamboo yung ano niya. Made of bamboo talaga, Sara. No? Oo, oh, congratulations po. Ma'am uh, Lorna Toledo Salcedo, congratulations po. Ayan. And para naman doon sa question natin sa tote bag, uh, the three Vs. Ayan, yung tatlong victories natin uh, ngayong uh, umaga. Congratulations. Teka, tingnan nga natin kung may tamang entry na. Ayun! Oh, may tote bag so, na to uh, kanina. Dalawa na yung tote bag ni ma'am. Congratulations. Ah, siguro i-giveaway to ni ma'am Madge kasi meron na siya kanina. Kailala natin si ma'am Madge. Mapagbigay po yan, ma'am Adel. <laughs> Pala decision po ako. Congratulations, ma'am Jopa. Di mapilis. Value violence, and vision. Congratulations! Ayan, naubos na rin po ang ating tote bag this morning in this division kickoff ceremony. Congratulations to the winners po ng ating mga tote bag. Ma'am Madel Villavicencio, Ma'am Edeline De Lima, Ma'am Emily Belano, Ma'am Mads, ah, nabanggit ko na, and Ma'am Jopa Di Mapilis. No? For winning, ayan, congratulations po sa ating uh, mga tote bag winners. And of course, congratulations also para sa unang tumbler, um, si Ma'am na nanalo sa katanungang What have you learned today, Lorna Ma'am Lorna Salcedo? May tatlo pa po tayo na mga tumbler na ipamimigay ngayong umaga. And before that, Ma'am, 
Pwede po ba kayong magbigay ng isang katanungan para sa Tumblr before we let you for a parting message to, uh, to all our viewers this morning? One so, question, ma'am. Bago siya may mahirap, ano yung totoong pangalan ko? Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> Man, parang ako hindi. Baka, baka, baka nanay ko lang makaka, baka nanay ko lang makakasagot nun. Diba? Na-imagine ko nung kinder ka kung paano mo sinusulat. Diba? Uh-huh, diba? Every weekend umiiyak ako, sinusulat ko na siya sa paper kasi <laughs> para ready na pag Monday. Ayan. So I guess for, for, for the question, ayan, siguro for, uh, for the question, yung ano natin, um, ano ba maganda? Since natanong na yung tatlong V's eh, di ba? Ang, ang ano eh, ang bright mag-isip ng questions nitong mga kasama ko ngayon eh. Sige, maybe ano na lang, personal application. Mm-hmm. Personal application. So what can you do um, in order to apply everything that you have learned for today? Even just a one-liner application. Ano yung pwede natin gawin? Bilang magulang, bilang guro, bilang mag-aaral. Ayan. Yun na lang. Kitang-kita ang pagiging teacher ni Mami, no? Sa Bloom's Taxonomy application na tayo ngayon. <laughs> Sige yes. po. Ayan. May mga viewers po tayo, mga magulang. Pwede po kayong sumagot. Ang mga teachers po natin. At kung syempre, kung meron din po mga uh, bata na nakapakinig, ang gaganda din ng mga pwede nating may apply sa totoong buhay natin. At sa totoo, parang may peke, eh, no? Sa ating buhay, no? Ang uh, mga natutunan natin ngayong umaga. All right, and the winner is congratulations. Is this the winner, Sir Rent? Ah, siya ang una. Ayan. Uy, napaka-generous po ng Sir Rent natin dahil sobrang dami po mamadel na magagandang uh, kasagutan. Dalawa po ang mananalo, no? Nang uh, uh, tumbler po natin ngayong umaga. At isa po dyan, si Ma'am Elisa Lansang Torno, be a role model. Di Pwede ba akong pamili ng winner? Ay sure ma'am, opo. Yes, the question <laughs> ay nanggaling kay so, ma'am. Gusto ko yung sagot nito ni, ano, ni Ma'am Lynn. Ma'am Lynn Aveniante Ismil. Yan. Value us as how God values us. So whenever we see people in the lens of God, we're not going to do any harm to them. We're going to think highly of them the th- way God thinks of us. Diba? And I think this also reflects both the first, the greatest, and the second commandment, to love God above all and to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. We love ourselves. Wow. So thank you, Ma'am Lin, for that wonderful one-liner answer that really made an impact. Salamat po sa'yo. Congratulations, Ma'am Lin. Aviniente is me. You can claim your Tumblr dito sa division office. And ma'am, before we let you go, any parting words po or parting message to our viewers in this beautiful, beautiful God morning? Ayan, siguro for, first for the students. Ayan, for the students, I know, especially being a student in this kind of era where transitions are endless. From face-to-face to online to modular, back to on-site, face-to-face. And the tris- transitions that you're facing parang hindi na natatapos. And that's why it's understandable that in this season, you may have a lot of questions. Always remember that your teachers, that your parents, and of course, you have God as your go-to people. Especially when you are facing problems like this related to violence related to abuse don't let anyone tell you apart from what god has uh, told you kung ano yung dapat mong gawin because you know for all of us i guess this goes for all of us for teachers for for educators for parents there are prime four voices that we hear first voice that we hear is we hear ourselves right we hear ourselves telling to ourselves pag may binubulong ka sa sarili mo ayan may ganun naririnig mo yung sarili mo eh second voice that we hear is the voice of the world. Is the voice of our friends. It's the voice of the people around us. The third voice that we hear, and I hope we do not entertain this voice, is the voice of the enemy. The voice of the enemy telling you, wag ka nang magsumbong, wag na kadiri ka na, hindi ka worthy, wala ka nang value, ano ka ba, hindi ka niyan papansunin, pagsasayang ka lang ng oras mo. That's the voice of the enemy that you don't want to pay attention. And finally, the fourth voice, that if there's one voice 
But you know, the problem of this voice is that most of the time, this voice speaks in whispers. If you're paying good attention, you will be able to hear it. You know why it's speaking in whisper, the voice of God? It's because for you to be drawn near. Para lalo kang lumapit. Kasi pag bulong ang salita, ang tendency mo ay makinig at lumapit. So listen to that whisper, the voice that comes from God. And every time you are in trouble, every time that you feel that you have doubts, that you are in fear, you have questions, you have this guilt feeling and this shame, always remember that whisper. I love you. You are loved. You are valued. You are important. Don't let that voice die down in your heart. Thank you so much, Mama Madel. Um, Mama Madel, for that very beautiful message given to our viewers in this division kickoff ceremony of the 18 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children 2022. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your time. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ayan, may gusto pong mag-high sa inyo. <laughs> ang inyo pong inaanap. Yes. At ang mga kumare ko kanina na nag-message <laughs> Kumares, Ayan, thank you so much po Mama Del and ingat po tayo dyan ano, thank you po no, kahit na talaga namang nasa abroad si Ma'am ay uh, uh, she gave um, time to meet us this morning thank you so much Ma'am at this juncture we will award the last ayan na last na po ito na tumbler for the day in this division kickoff ceremony and the question is ayan what is the bible verse no kung saan umikot ang ating value violence and vision no violence value violence and vision what <laughs> What is the Bible verse? Wow! Mga nagkakaroon ng background na ingay dito. Naku, wrong spelling is wrong! <laughs> so, I can't... <laughs> ay, hindi. Sige na. <laughs> ay, ay, grabe. Nag-take down notes ako eh. Congratulations! Aliwa <laughs> din yun. Ah, nawala yung H. <laughs> Nakakagulo po dito sa opisina ni SDS Nong Cantonos. Pero accepted na po natin yan. Congratulations, Ma'am LJ! Yay! <laughs> Congratulations, my Tumblr na po kayo! Yay! And that's it for this division kickoff ceremony of the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children habang nagkakagulo dito sa division office. And... To further us in this division kick-off, ano pa yung pwede nating mga gawin, ano yung pwede nating i-look forward, narito po ang mga videos na sumusuporta sa kampanya ng pagtatapos ng violence against women and children okay. year 2022 in this kick-off ceremony nationwide. Thank you so much. God bless us all. And happy God morning! <laughs>
ready to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! We in Francisco E. Barzaga Integrated High School support the 18-day campaign to end the violence against women and children. Let's unite! Here in San Paolo Elementary School, we support the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! From OSDS, ASDS, and Legal Unit, we fully support the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! From the Office of the Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, this is Mamba Det Luna from SDO Dasmarina City saying, I support the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! Magandang buhay! We are the budget and finance of SDO Dasmarinas. And we support the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! CIT fully supports the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! We, the Bobby Schools Business Supervisors of the City Schools Division of the Students, support the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! We, in the alternative learning system of the City Schools Division of Las Marinas, support the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and their children. Let's unite! We support the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! Let's unite! SPOD fully supports the 18 day campaign to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! Hi, my name is Sabine A. Landis, teacher and fellow at Deckard 4 in the Amazon. I support the 18 day campaign to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! I'm Alvin Mitrillo. EPS2 from DepEd Calabarzon supports the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! Hello, I'm Janet G. Pilaroya, the Education Program Supervisor of SGAD from SDO Bacoor City. Supports the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! Magandang buhay, Jenilyn A. Sada po, ang Senior Education Program Specialist ng SDO ABC supports the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! We support the 18-day campaign to end violence against women and children. Let's unite! Ako po si Marita Castillo Pimentel. Bahagi po ako ng National Guard Resource Pool ng Philippine Commission on Women. Nakikisa po ako sa ating lahat sa taunang pandaigdigang 18-day campaign to end violence against women. Dito po sa atin sa Pilipinas, 18-day campaign po ito. Sa, sa buong mundo po, ito ay 16-day campaign. Ano man ito, ito ay ang ating taunang pagpapaalala na kailangan po nating wakasan, tigilan at pigilan na ang lahat ng klase ng pag laban sa ating mga kababaihan. Pinatunayan po ng ating kasaysayan kung paano po marami uri ng karanasan ang nararanasan ng ating mga kababaihan. At kaya patuloy pa rin nararanasan ito ng marami. At kailangan po nating maunawaan na ito ay nararanasan sa lahat ng espasyo mula sa kanyang pamilya, sa komunidad, sa lipunan, sa media, sa cyberspace. 24-7 po ang nararanasang karahasan ng maraming mga kababaihan. Mula bata, matatanda, mula pagkabata hanggang sa pagtanda. At kahit po karahasang mula sa mismong mga elemento ng estado. Napapanahon na po na patuloy nating Ipaalala sa bawat isa na ang gawing ito ay hindi makatutulong sa anumang lipunan. At sa bawat 18-day campaign po na ating daraanan, huwag po nating kalimutang ipagdasal din ang lahat ng mga naging biktima ng ating tinatawag na vow o violence against women. 
mga biktima nag-alay ng buhay, nagkaroon ng kapansanan, tuluyang nasira ang mga buhay at nagkaro- tuluyan na rin nakalimutan ng ating lipunan. Tandaan po natin na sila po ang mga paalala sa ating lahat na huwag tayong titigil hanggat hindi natin na naaabot ang isang lipunang hindi siguro para sa atin lang kundi para sa ating susunod na mga henerasyon. Isang lipunang mas pataru- katarungan, isang lipunang mas makatarungan at mas makabuluhan ng buhay kaysa sa ano ang meron tayo ngayon. Maraming salamat po. At tuloy-tuloy po nating ipanawagan ang pagkakapantay-pantay ng lahat ng tao sa ating lipunan. <laughs> ang katawan ko at ako. Kwento ni Ogi Rivera. Guhit ni Nicole Lim. Alam niyo na ba ang iba't ibang bahagi ng inyong katawan? Ituro natin at kilalanin. Hi! Paa, tuhod, balikat, ulo, pinti, baywang, kamay at braso, itatihan, liek at siko, mga bahagihan ng ating katawan. <laughs> Marami pang ibang mga bahagi ang ating katawan. Kabilang na dyan, ang masiselang bahagi o private parts. Alam nyo ba kung ano-ano yon? Ito ang mga bahaging natatakpa ng ating kasuotang panlangoy. Ang ating ari, pinis o titi sa lalaki, at vagina o pepe sa babae, ang dibdib o dede, at ang puwi. Laging tandaan ang patakaran. Walang sino mang pwedeng humawak sa masiselang bahagi ng inyong katawan. Maliban na lang kung ito ay para sa kalusugan at kalinisan. Ang inyong katawan ay sa inyo lamang. Kaya dapat nyo itong bantayan at alagaan. Okay lang na matutong magsabi ng Hindi! Tigil! Ayoko! Sa mas nakatatanda, kung nakasalalay rito ang inyong kaligtasan at para wag kayong malagay sa mga sitwasyong alanganin, delikado at malapit sa anumang uri ng abuso. Hindi! Huwag! Tigil! Ayoko! Sa may playground, may aling nag-aabang. Hanap niya ay cute na batang, hilig niyang panggigilan. Lumapit siya kay baste, kinurot pa sa pisngi. Nang akma siyang yakapin si Baste ay umiling Hindi tigil ayoko Hindi tigil ayoko Kapag may gustong yumaka Pwede niyo tong tanggihan Hindi Tigil ayoko, hindi, tigil ayoko, walang pilitan dapat, lalo na kung ayaw nyo. Doon sa may handaan, may mama na dumating. Ninong daw siya ni Zara Sa abroad daw siya nang galing <laughs> Si Zara ay nalito Nang lumapit ang mama Kiss naman sa ninong dyan Sa 
Ayaw niyo. <laughs> 